Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're just going to do a little bit of a different video. I just wanted to give sort of just some tips and tricks for people who haven't used the Nexus mod. Uh, I have a friend who hasn't used it before, so I just wanted to explain really how it works. So in my video description, I have a link to both the Nexus mod manager download and the link to where all the Nexus mods are in the library. So I just quickly searched uh, Vortex Nexus on Google. You can also get it that way. You come into this uh, web page here. You get the download latest version now. You click that. It's going to start downloading a file up here. Once that's done, uh, you just want to click manual download. You don't want to, I wouldn't recommend doing custom install unless you really know what you're doing because it does mess up a lot of automatic things when you do manual install because things aren't automatically detected where they should be and you sort of have to keep that in mind when you're modding stuff. So you click the manual download here. You just want the slow download if you're starting off. They do offer a premium service which gives you better download speed. Uh, there is also a ability to uh, tip the modders so we're going to let that run through. Uh, you're going to double click on it. I already have it installed on my computer. So I'm not going to do that. But I just wanted to show you the process of getting this guy up and started. Alright, so this is the Nexus Mod Manager. You are going to need an account. This helps link the mods and downloading and all that stuff. It also allows you to see what mods you've downloaded. And keep track of everything on the website side and on the manager side. So I would recommend signing into a profile. To create a profile, you just have to go up here. You can see I'm already signed in up here, but this is where you go to create an account. You would simply just put in your email, verify it. Just a normal process for really just setting up an account. Getting that started. So you can see here, this is the dashboard. I have Skyrim installed. I only have the uh, SSE edit and the script extender uh, that's required for some of the mods. Uh, the edit, not so much. The edit's just there if you want to get into the more advanced size. I don't recommend that unless you're going. But script extender is really good. And there's, um, in its description, it will tell you how to put it in this location. So how does this guy work? Essentially, we go, uh, now that you've got your account signed in on this side and you have your account signed in on the web page, you can simply go to Skyrim Special Edition here. You click on mods. Uh, there's, of course, all sorts of mods, but we're just going to say popular all time. And you can see here, now we're going to see what I've downloaded, what things have updated. Uh, not a lot of these mods are actually installed in my current mod list uh, because for this series, I plan to go more vanilla, but there are stuff you can add. Like, I really like the Ordinator mod. It sort of adds a new thing. Apocalypse of Magic revamps the magic system. But I'm not going to be touching that in my series. So let's click on a mod as an example. Uh, this is one of the ones I use the most. Probably easiest to see in my videos is the quality world map. So this one, you basically just go over here. You click download with mod manager. It's going to come over here. So you can see there's different options on what the mod could be. You click slow download it's going to start and it's automatically going to get picked up by vortex and it's going to go into the downloads folder and it'll start downloading you can see i have a few mods here that i'm starting to add into my list uh, if you're worried or if it doesn't detect your skyrim install it usually automatically detects it but in the games tab here there is an option up at the top to do a full scan that will find all games but it does take a long time most of the time it auto detects like you can see here dark souls 2 i reinstalled that recently and it got auto detected and there's a few other mods i've uninstalled like i've uninstalled fallout 76 and you can see it's not in the list so once it's done in the downloads page this is where you're going to want to be this will turn to an install button and when you click the install button a little notification will come up here and it'll allow you to click enable. And then when you click enable, we come down here and we can see what we have enabled. And then after we have it enabled, we can click deploy. When you de 
click deploy it will detect if there's any conflicts and you can go in here usually it'll give you a suggestion but well, the general rule of thumb is textures and core things really are the ones you want first and then everything else patches are always after like you can see here this fixes fixes after after and automatically detected and did that for me and then you come over to the plugins and i always recommend doing this you want to go uh sort now this will automatically sort your plugin list so that it loads properly this is very important uh just installing the mods and enabling them uh will just put them in a random order and by clicking sort it will automatically put the mods in a way that will start up as clean as possible without crashing your game this is important even if you got a really uh, performance optimized downloads and mods without clicking sort now you can still have major performance issues so that's something to pay attention to so i hope i've given you sort of a quick guide on sort of the mod and how to do it and I really personally recommend the Nexus Mod Manager to start. It's really simple, easy, intuitive for the beginning. If you want to get into more advanced stuff, there are, of course, different mod managers. But be aware, each mod manager is going to run a little bit differently. And it will give you more control. But on the trade-off, you will lose a lot of the automation from the Nexus Mod Manager. Don't get me wrong, some of them are pretty automated. So... As you can see here, I got all my mods ready to go. I got a few more coming in in the next episode. And I just want to thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this guide on how to use Vortex was helpful. And can show you guys for how to mod on your own and get started. Alright, peace out.